All right, Keith is back with your full forecast, and uh, it's pretty pretty quiet out there yeah. compared to what we were dealing with. Not a whole lot going on. Um, I've been amazed by the snow melts it's in my neck of the wood. Mm. It's just been. Whew, um, See you later. Luke and I made a fort like a week ago and went down to yeah. grass over there. We can still man wow. the fort if we have to, though. So don't oh, come, good. Don't come good. attack Great us. To right. know. Pr protect the yeah, castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the snow totals, guys. Depending on your location, um, a lot of five, six, sevens. Couple of tens, elevens, not a ton of those though. Most of the heavier snow was into New Hampshire as we expected it was. A couple of spots in Massachusetts, the Berkshires, that whole area really got crushed with snow. But this is really what we're looking at. And um, the jet port, Portland jet port came in with 4.1, which I'll discuss at a later time. But uh, doesn't sound right to me. Here's a look at the radar. You can see that low moving slowly away, big stacked up storm and we've got some snow over down east maine and into the mid coast but really ineffectual stuff but just look at this satellite picture swirling low these are the storms that really can can put down some huge totals is when they get way offshore they just kind of wobble around there and that's what happened yesterday and it's still happening today luckily we're far enough away that it's not really impacting us just a couple of rain and snow showers now into down east maine and it has been really hard to accumulate snow there today during the daytime hours anyways because it's mid-march so that's kind of how that goes northwest winds Still strong, 40 miles an hour, 41 in Freiburg, 36 miles an hour in Sanford, 38 miles an hour in Bangor. We're not going to cause any more damage here um, as far as power outages go, but it continues to be breezy through the rest of today and through at least the first half of tonight. Temperatures drop down into the 20s for the most part, and tomorrow's a quiet day. Mixture of sun and clouds leaning a little bit more towards sun there, 45 or so along the coast and into Sanford, 40 or so inland. 30s in the mountains. Uh, nice bright day though there. And then clouds start coming in here on Friday. It's quiet through the first half of the day. By the late afternoon into the evening, we get a little light mix going on. I think for the coast, this is rain right from the get go, just rain showers. But into the mountains, foothills and central and northern Maine, there will be snow Friday night into very early Saturday that'll accumulate lightly. But once we get that warm front through, Cold front comes through Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon actually looks really nice. Then we get a bit windy and chillier on Sunday for the second half of the weekend. So that little batch of snow there, again, this is Friday night, doesn't look huge, but enough that it could um, drop a few inches of snow. We're thinking it's probably a one to three kind of deal with the threes being in the higher terrain. And if you're in this green, that means we're not anticipating any snow there. So I like Saturday afternoon a lot. Sunday's fine, but it's going to feel a little cool for this time of the year. Low 30s, mid 30s with breeze is, uh, you know, chilly for mid-March. But nice on Monday, that is the first day of non-meteorological spring, mm -hmm. kind of the, the normal spring. And then quiet Tuesday, Wednesday. Don't see a whole lot going on, maybe something late next week, but nothing that really rings any alarm bells at this point. Great. All right. Thanks, Keith. Yeah.